Hi, and welcome to Field Engineering. I'm your host, J.D. Brake, and uh, we are bringing you a series of educational shorts to really make you, the tech, a better tech, more educated, and really kind of put our money where our mouth is here at Jackson, where we have a, a cultivated culture of learning, coaching, training, and we're bringing that you, uh, we're bringing that to you today uh, with Field Engineering. And with me, I have Phil Kimball. Phil Kimball, how long have you been in this industry? Over 50 years, J.D. That's, that's a long time. Yes. So you know, your, you know your stuff, right? Uh, if I didn't, I wouldn't be here okay. today. Okay. See? So good. So we have a, a, a very, a, an expert on this topic. And today we're going to talk about something kind of specific. It's real basic as far as being a tech and encountering certain issues out in the field. I wanted to talk to Phil about just the basic tools that you should have with you, not just on the truck, but with you when you get called out to let's say like a, a, an issue with the zoning system. So you get a call, I'm a service tech, I get a call from my boss says, look, they're, we installed the zoning system, it's not working like it should. So what are the basic tools that I should have as a technician? Well, when you're on the job, and especially if you call us for tech support, um, we expect you to have some very fundamental diagnostic tools with you. Nothing sophisticated, but it's very important that you have these with you so that we can walk you through the process of diagnosing a problem with a zoning panel um, and get you off of that job as quickly as possible. So these are first, tools not just for zoning, but just well, you should always General have. diagnostic, okay. but especially for zone control. First of all, we're in this beautiful studio that's got beautiful lighting, but uh, we all know if you're under a crawl space or up in an attic or in a dingy equipment room, one of the most important tools you need is a good light. Yeah. Uh, whether it's a flashlight, uh, whether it's a, a, a headband type light, but you need a good light so that you can light up the product uh, as we walk through all the diagnostics. So that's one important tool you always need to have. I know with a lot you. of techs use their phones now exactly. too. Exactly. That's a good light. That's, that's a good exactly. flashlight on there. The other thing you need is with uh, 18 gauge thermostat wire and the way these panels are wired together with the thermostats and the zone dampers and all the other peripherals. You need a good screwdriver and a screwdriver that fits the terminal screws on these zoning panels. Don't walk in with a big old bladed screwdriver. It isn't going to do you any good. <laughs> it's even a good idea if you have uh, uh, a multi one. In other words, you got a Phillips on one side and you got a flat end on the other. Very important. It's got to have the that Jackson with you. Systems phone number on there too. Pretty handy. Here's one of the most sophisticated diagnostic tools that we have to use when we're doing troubleshooting with zone control panels. Sophisticated. It's a jumper wire. Uh, if you, you can get them pre-made, I love these. We use them in our lab all the time. They're a little pricey. These are magnetic jumper wires. But regardless, if you don't have a jumper wire, get yourself a hunk of 18 gauge thermostat wire, cut off about five inches, uh, strip both ends, keep that with you. Put it in your pocket, stick it in your shirt pocket. Have that jumper wire with you because when we go through diagnostics, that jumper wire is going to replace the thermostat inputs so we can do some quick checking on the board before we work from the panel out to the other products or that are integrated into this panel. Okay. Last but not least, bring your multimeter with you. It doesn't matter what brand, but make sure it's a multimeter. AC, DC, voltage, continuity, all important when we go through the process of elimination with regards to Where's the problem at? We can check fuses. We can check voltage. We can check outputs uh, by either using AC volts or we can use continuity. This is one of the most important things that you should have with you at all times. Don't leave it in the truck. Now you've left me on the phone waiting for you for 10 <laughs> minutes before you can bring back your multimeter. That's right. So keep this stuff with you guys. This is really important. And JD, I'll tell you, with just these little simple tools here, yeah, uh, we can diagnose 99.99 one hundredths <laughs> percent of any problem on a zoning system. That's all it takes. So, Phil, also, I want to ask you, what is the most common issue that you hear when our customers call in, our contractors, with the zoning? Is there anything that's kind of like a uh, aha, like I didn't know that, or is there anything kind yes. of... What's that? Well, one of the things is, is that uh, you have to understand that when we output to the equipment, we are a dry contact. We're just a switch. 
A lot of techs get confused saying, well, I can't measure voltage across the HVAC terminals going to the equipment. We're a dry contact, guys. We provide separate 24 volt power into our panels and then we power out to thermostats, zone dampers, and any other type of peripheral that we might require 24 volts. Always remember though that on the HVAC <laughs> side of things, we're just the old switch. Okay. So you're not going to measure voltage. What we do is we'll measure continuity. That's probably the most common thing. Okay. That's great. That's great information, Phil. Thank you. Hey, you're for more coming than welcome. On. I appreciate it. Give us a call, and when you do, have these tools with you. Absolutely. And like I said, and Phil just mentioned it, 888-652-9663. You can call that number anytime we're open, and you can get somebody like Phil on the phone to talk to you uh, to help you diagnose the problem so you don't have to roll another truck. This has been J.D. Brake with Field Engineering. Hope to see you next time. Have a good day.